Hi from the beautiful Transylvania. This is certainly a beautiful spot up in the mountains of Romania. And as I stand here, I think about the importance of fresh air. Oxygen is the most important element needed for life, the most vital element. So fresh air is very important. No lack of it up here. But I must also be mindful of how I breathe. No matter whether you are in the mountains in Transylvania or whether you are in a city, if you breathe through your nose, you can be assured you're getting a better quality air. Mouth is not for breathing. Mouth is for singing, talking, eating, drinking. Nose and nose alone is for breathing. In Genesis 2 verse 7, the Bible says that God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils. Did you hear that? Breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and he became a living soul. Yes, it's nose and nose alone. Now I'm going to look at the science. What's the science behind it? Why is the nose so important to breathe in and out? Well, Nose purifies the air, nose warms the air, and nose humidifies the air. Mouth does not do that. Nose does something else. Nose pressurizes the air, making it perfect for the lungs. And nose also balances blood gases. So what are the blood gases that nose balances? Yes, oxygen. And to be able to balance the oxygen levels right down at the cellular level, we need carbon dioxide. Yes, carbon dioxide is the gaseous of waste that comes from the cell. We have about 25 trillion red blood cells. And on the red blood cells, there's, a, there's millions of haemoglobin and the haemoglobin carry the oxygen. There are four docking sites for oxygen, but for four molecules of oxygen to be picked up, there must be four molecules of carbon dioxide. And when there's four molecules of carbon dioxide on the haemoglobin in the lungs, then four molecules of oxygen can be picked up. It's like a transfer. So when we breathe in and out through our nose, it guarantees that we have adequate carbon dioxide to be able to pick up our carbon dioxide is necessary to pick up the oxygen. When we are breathing in and out through our nose, the research is showing that our cells are getting 18% more oxygen. And when oxygen is and at the cellular level, then we've got more energy. When those cells have oxygen, instead of giving off two units of energy, the cell gives off 36 units of energy. That means I will have more energy when I breathe in and out through my nose. So remember nose, because nose is vital for breathing in and out, for the reasons I mentioned. But what if you can't breathe through your nose? Well, why can't you breathe through your nose? Well, it's all clogged up. Well, why is it clogged up? It's clogged up because there's all this mucus there. Well, why is the mucus there? Well, the mucus is produced if ever we're breathing in something that has an irritating effect for the mucous membranes, the lining. That might be breathing in chemicals. It might be breathing in mold. So make sure you're breathing the freshest of air. But there's something else, and that can be an allergy to the food that we're eating. So what are the most common allergens? The, the foods that are the most likely to cause this excess mucus. Dairy, that's a well-known one. The hybridized wheat of today is another one. Oats, oats are high in lectins. Some people can handle them, some people can't. If you've got excess mucus there, keep away from the oats until it clears. Peanuts are commonly contaminated with mold, so they can be contributing, and refined sugar just acts like kerosene to a fire, just feeding any inflammation. When you stop those foods, the mucous membranes are now a lot clearer. They're not as clogged. Body's not making as much mucus. So now you can breathe a little easier. And by the way, if you want to clear your nose, tape your mouth up. <laughs> yes, if you tape your mouth up, you'll be able to breathe in and out through your nose. Those little canals at the back will open up. 
Well, that's a lot to take in, but when we're breathing that fresh air, when we're breathing through our nose, it has an effect on our body to give us more energy. Thank you.